All right, Siege of Rochester, the Normans campaign. I don't even know what number it is now. Number nine or something. Don't see any Steam achievements. I do think it's interesting that all the years have been chronological, but now Rochester is set a year before Dover. I don't know. In the year prior to the defense of Dover, King John's defiance of the Magna Carta had mired England in a rebellion known as the First Barons' War. Across England, barons broke ties with the crown and seized important cities, including Rochester. With his reign under threat, John deployed his forces to retake Rochester and capture the traitors. Oh, we get to be doing the sieging now, I guess. It's very well narrated. And now it makes sense why the why it's a year prior. It's just the way they're telling the story. It's really cool if you're into history and documentaries. And... King John's men arrived at the outskirts of Rochester, set to retake the castle and drive out the rebel barons within. But Rochester was a formidable fortress that protected the route to London, and the rebel barons were prepared to lay down their lives to hold it. Before King John's men could hope to retake the castle, they would need to reinforce their position by capturing the village of Chatham. Crossbowmen. Okay, so we have crossbowmen, but they do not have... Palings. Oh, we'll put them together. No. So far, so good. Don't see any cavalry. Take a hundred longbowmen and see what happens. Secured Chatham and began preparing for an arduous siege. Where are they going? Rochester's keep was protected by strong stone walls. Gold. The king's army would need mighty siege weapons to break through. So here's a sacred site, and there was a tip on the loading screen. Ooh, trebuchets. Shit's getting serious. Here's the monks. There was a tip on the loading screen saying monks can capture sacred sites for gold income. So, that sounds like something we want to do. Ah, this one's not really that great for farming. And it looks like we're going to be able to do Imperial Age. For that, we are probably going to need a shit ton of food. So we're going to send... Oh, let's just do five. Send some more villagers over. For wood. Get these four over, get the food going. Oh, there's some sheep there. Healers. Oh yeah. Let's get those sheep taken. I don't think these villagers need to be walking this far with all that wood. Same over here. 
I thought there were villagers that went there for gold. Oh, they don't have a camp. That's not ideal. All right. Oh, that tooltip's gonna get annoying. I better get rid of that. So the objective is to build a landmark, which will take us to the Imperial Age. So that's fine, that's what I was working on. Can I at least preview these? So that's a defensive structure. I don't know what the fuck this is. I guess we are going for the... Oh, trebuchet. Yeah, we're gonna need this one. The Wingard Palace, I suppose, to get the trebuchets. Out somewhere. I think we'll do another middle setup. Oh, there's the wolves. What oh, is the sacred site, it looks like. I love that the sheep follow along. Yet to see fish in this game. Some more gold. It's gonna be useful. I oh, come on. My bad. Oh, that's more difficult than it needs to be. It's a relic. All right, so my sheep us. So you can go, if that's a religious site, go take that. This fella can get this relic. I don't think the sacred site counts as a religious building, so we're gonna figure out Monastery. This will be a okay spot for that defensive landmark. Alright, we got the resources. Let's do that. Get rid of those wolves. Get that relic over there. Get some more food production going here. Build 
Let's pump out some more villagers. I'm sure we can put them to good use. Is this already taken or no? It looks like it. That's all right. Probably don't need all these. If we're gonna spam archers. That's gonna be food and wood, and we got twelve on wood, fifteen on food. Pop a few archery ranges here. Oh, there's another sheep. Ooh, another sacred site. The king's men discovered the farmlands that supplied the rebels Oop, Rochester. We can raid. If the rebels lost access to the food supplies, some of them would be forced to flee. They had the opportunity to weaken the rebellion by eliminating the castle's supplies. All right, all right. Very useful. Normally, you'd want to raid with cavalry, I suppose, but since we got all these spare infantry. An army including one of each. <laughs> yeah, that's not enough longbow men. We'll take care of that. And since we have a lumber camp right here, why not? Do we have a blacksmith? Arsenal. That's some upgrades too. What are these monks doing? Good grief, man. Get a gold mine over here. Get these sheep home. Quite a bit of sheep. Get some bowman upgrades. Yeah, I think this is gonna be tough. We're getting us all those resources. Alright, go poke our head in. So, three trebuchets. There's two more. We don't have palings. We gotta figure out how to get that. Oh, we do have palings. I was looking at the crossbowmen, I guess. There's a defensive structure. We'll avoid that just for now. Well, if we're going to have all this gold, we should probably do some knights. Oh, and we should definitely do some houses. Hey! They are taking our sacred sites. Yeah, 
great thing about the trebuchet. Wow. <laughs> that village was the real MVP. He survived. I was not expecting to have to defend the sacred site all the way over there. This one I would expect. See if they can survive. Get over to the monks. Can you move? Wood. So they're losing control of that. Upgrade our production. Is the same number I gave to these guys? Yeah, it was. Little survivor dude there can help. This is nuts. Alright. Don't pay attention to my trebuchets over here. Stop the traitors. What traitors? I must have missed that one. Are they coming for that sacred site again? I see a monk there. With the farms alight, King John's chokehold on the rebels was tightening. With supplies critically low, 
The rebel commander discharged his weakest fighters, hoping to preserve what little food remained. Fearing further dissent against his rule, King John ordered safe passage for the surrendered rebels away from Rochester. Oh, they're surrendering. King John's men discovered that the castle was being resupplied by a stream of traders. If they're not gonna attack those trebuchets, I'm just gonna keep punishing them. Send our new archers over there. Rochester's outer wall crumbled to King John's men, and they descended on the keep. Cut off from all hope of resupply, more of the rebels were forced to abandon the fight. That's another sacred site. King John's men came to St. Margaret's Monastery. Although the monks would not take sides, they would provide medical care for wounded soldiers. Oh, that's nice. The local market was also open to trade with Chatham. those upgrade buildings or did I not build a backsmith and a arsenal oh there we go oh I'm not reading all that plenty of resources Knights get murdered. Looks like we got, maybe we can build houses for another 30 pop, at least. Let's do four, see if it goes above 200. Could I possibly need other than longbowmen? I don't know. So we're just gonna throw the mix in there. What's the actual goal? The keep over there. So, should we take out the production buildings, or just should we just go for the keep? It's trebuchets, man. We're gonna go for the keep. Get an 
I wonder if I even have to take the wall down. There's some outlying things here. Let's give these number five. It's just our trams and our randoms. Those upgrades are taking their sweet time. Did he finish this thing and I just don't see it? Pretty much. These upgrades are going to matter, but why not? Almost made it. I think they can hit the keep from out there. <laughs> Are you mad? Oh, the Rams are not going to do anything to those guys. Keep at Rochester fell at the hands of the king's army, securing both the castle and the route to London. While the fight for England raged on, a desperate King John clung to the throne.
that was fun. I like the raiding elements and the secret site control and getting this. Like there was a lot of stuff going on that would probably be a lot more important on a higher difficulty setting.